Hi everyone, welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I'm going to share with you how I made these quilted mini pumpkin stands using items purchased from dollar stores. I just love the colors and the quilted patterns and textures of these. I think they're so cute for displaying my little mini pumpkin patch. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing how I made these, let's go ahead and get started with the supplies that I used. Two packs of orange quilted dishcloths, a pack of brown dishcloths, a pack of tan dishcloths, two packs of round floral foam, two packs of cups, two candlesticks, some E6000 glue, as well as hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And then this is my pumpkin collection that I will be displaying, as well as two little straw bales also purchased from the Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get started. These quilted dishcloths I purchased from the Dollar Tree and I think they would be absolutely beautiful for any kitchen in fall, but I really liked the idea of using them for this project because I love the pattern of the fabric. So you're going to take your round floral foam, also purchased from the Dollar Tree, and there's two to a pack. I purchased two of them, so there's four total. And you're just going to go ahead and take one and use your hot glue and put a layer of glue around the edges. And then you're just going to stick it right in the middle and kind of hold it down for a second there. And then um, we're going to start with the sides first. You're going to just put a line of hot glue and then kind of pull tight and fold it over the floral foam and just kind of hold it to secure. And then you are going to repeat this process on the opposite side as well. Just put a line of hot glue and then fold it up and over. And then also the same thing along each of the sides. Now the floral foam um, I really liked the idea of using because uh, you get two to a pack so you save money and then it also is a really nice height for um, kind of displaying the stands at different heights and kind of gives it more of a visual effect, I think. So anyways, moving on from that, <laughs> you're just going to finish the sides, go ahead and fold it over. And then now we're going to start with the corners. What you're going to do is kind of uh, wrap it as if you were wrapping a present. You're just going to kind of tuck the fabric inside uh, on each side right there. I'm just putting a little dot of glue on each of the sides as I tuck it. You'll see there, just tuck in the extra fabric and put a dot of glue and kind of hold it down for a minute. And then at the very tips, you are just going to go ahead and pull tight and put another dot of hot glue right at the top and then go ahead and secure the edge. Just like that. And then you are all done with the first little cute little foam base there. And then you're just going to repeat the same process for all of the different floral foams. There, Like I said, there was four. So you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process for wrapping those. And um, I there was two to a pack in each of these quilted dishcloths, so I decided to do two orange since I had two packs of those. And then with the brown and the tan, I did just one color of each for the floral foam. That way I could um, use the other two for the little white cups and add the different colors at the different um, heights. So you're just going to go ahead and repeat the same process. This is with the brown quilted dishcloth. And it's kind of going to kind of make like a little X pattern on the inside once you get there. So just so you kind of have a visual idea that you're kind of wrapping it the right way there. And then you're going to do the same thing with the tan one. And then you are all done with the first four of these little foam bases. And I loved mixing up the colors. I kind of wanted an array of colors. I didn't want them to be too set in a pattern. So that's why I decided to do that. Okay, so now moving on, these little um, white saucer cups, I purchased uh, two packs of these from the Dollar Tree. There's three to a pack. You can find these uh, little cups in like the kitchen aisle. So I thought these would also be nice for adding um, another layer for the different heights. And it actually, the amount of fabric covers perfectly. So 
Same thing with wrapping the foam. You're just going to start with the sides. You're going to put a line of hot glue and just kind of fold the sides up and then tuck them under and hold them down to dry. So here I am just finishing up um, also with the sides. I'm going to go ahead and leave the corners for last. So just another line of hot glue and then hold, holding those up to fold and dry. This one was kind of a little hard because it is smaller, so you want to kind of move the corners out of the way before you fold those up. And then you are just going to go ahead and put a little dot of hot glue at the top. And then instead of folding both of the little sides of the corner, this one you're just going to fold it um, in one direction, kind of pointing towards the middle, and then fold it over and put it down, if you can see there. So the extra fabric I just kind of tucked in and then folded it over and um, secured it from the top. And my little folds, like I said, they're all pointing towards each other in the middle. I mean, you don't have to, it's just I like it all pointing in the same direction, so <laughs> that's why I did it that way. And then just go ahead and secure the top, and then you are all done with that little first one there. And like I said, this just adds another layer of height for displaying all of my little pumpkins. Um, so <clears throat> I did have more of the orange dish cloth, so I did two of those, and then I did um, one chocolate and one brown with the little remaining colors there. And then you are all done with those. And then to add just another layer of height, um, I got these two candlesticks. Um, these candlesticks were purchased from the 99 cent store. And as you can see, the base is more round than the ones that are purchased from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree does sell similar candlesticks, but the bases are a little bit, um, they have kind of more of an edge to it, and I really liked the round ones better. So I got the candlesticks from the 99 cent store, and I just put some E6000 glue along the top layer. And then um, just with the little orange cups, you're just going to go ahead and put one on top and center it right into place. And then um, these you can go ahead and let dry overnight. You can, um, I just put it upside down just to add the weight to it to help it to dry faster. So you're just going to go ahead and put those all around the corner there, all around the edge, and just add it right on top, and then you're going to leave them overnight to dry. So like I said earlier, my concept for this was a way to display my little mini pumpkin patch, but I wanted to add different heights just to make it more visually appealing. And then I also had two of those really cute little straw bales um, from the Dollar Tree that I wanted to add in there as well. So I think these turned out so, so cute. I love them. And um, these actually, these little white pumpkins in the middle there, I did a DIY on. I'll go ahead and link that video down below. Um, but all of these other pumpkins I have purchased from the Dollar Tree over the years, and I think I'll just continue to add more <laughs> the more I find them um, each year. So here's just a look at the completed pumpkin stands that I made, and just a before and after. And um, yeah, I just absolutely love these, you guys. I love just the little quilted pattern and texture on these. I think it's so cute. Um, so thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.